Okay, well, hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK, www.xcase.co.uk. Take the time to take a look at our website. Today on my bench, I've got a 2U chassis. We call it the Xcase RM206 Pro. Pro simply because we do a standard 206. This one's better, so we call it the Pro. Now this is for true server components. Um, it's a very nice chassis, very easy to work with, and it's got some nice features. So starting from the front, 206 because it's got six hot swap caddies. Caddies themselves are sprung on the top and on the side. This helps with vibration and prolongs drive life. Nice caddies. Easy to get in and out and well made. Got your front rack mount ears. A couple of front USBs. Power on, reset and activity lights. The space at the bottom for a standard 5.25 device, CD-ROM, etc. Or if you don't want that, it comes with this plate that you can fit a standard hard drive to, be it a 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch, like an SSD. comes with these uh, little tags for your hard drive caddies, just to number the drives up, uh, 1 to 6. Going a bit further into the chassis, we've got these four hot swap fans. Simply click straight out, no problems at all, very smooth, and click back in again. There is an option for a fifth one, but it's pretty much a waste of time on any of these chassis because it's only just going to blow against wiring and uh, a power supply. And the chassis itself, 650mm deep, which is what you need for a hot swap system if you want to be put in dual processor boards like this one in. This is a dual processor AMD, a couple of 16 cores in there, and a redundant uh, power supply. Uh, the power supply is a bit redundant or single, very easy to fit. Some some chassis are a bit of a nightmare. This is very very easy. Comes a standard with these seven low profile slots. And we do do a different back plate for three four height ones, as well as a dual processor board. It will take a standard ATX board, CEB, micro ATX, or even ITX. Now, this particular chassis, some of them we have mini SAS back planes, but this is really aimed at straight SATA to SATA. So you can use SATA 1, 2, and 3 drives on it. You've got your six SATA ports going down the side here. And they're powered by these two Molexes, which go into this 6GB backplane. So you then just use standard SATA cables directly to your motherboard. A common usage of this would be perhaps a couple of drives um, for a mirrored operating system, and another three or four drives for a RAID 5. And a lot of server boards can do this directly from the motherboard. Now each of the caddies at the front has got an activity light. Hopefully you can see them, well there's two actually, there's a bottom one which shines blue all the time and there's a number one on top of that which will flicker away when the hard drives are being used. Now the fans, as I've already said, are hot swap. But they've also got another nice little feature, which is that they connect directly 
to a four pin connection on your motherboard which means you can control the speed of them through your uh, BIOS in the motherboard. Basically means that they're not going to be running full pelt all the time as some server chassis do and sound like jet engines. Probably still going to be a little bit noisy because good old redundant power supplies make a lot of noise as do most to you power supplies. But at least they're not going off at full speed all the time and uh, wearing out faster. I'll uh, just give you a quick... For a few seconds there you'd hear the fans going full speed before the BIOS uh, found them and uh, reduced them down. Now the fans themselves aren't actually making any noise here, it's just the uh, power supply. But if the system did start to get a little bit warm, these will speed up and help to cool things down. So if that fan had just failed, you'd get an LED at the front. And there's also an LED on top of the fan which would flicker red. Plunk it back in and everything's happy. I'll just see if I can show you the amber flicker. That's what you'd get when your hard drive is being active. <coughs> being used. Excuse me, I've got hay fever. <coughs> anyway, there we go, the RM206 Pro. Really nice chassis to work with. Uh, better quality, good price as well. Thanks for listening.